Hello everyone. I, I hope everyone's doing well under the circumstances. This is uh, Bruce Fox. I'm the Chief Judge for the Pueblo of Laguna and I'm here to uh, discuss what, what, kind of, um, what kind of limited uh, services we'll be offering over the next 30 days. Uh, first, um, the Pueblo of Laguna does consider this uh, um, COVID-19 pandemic a serious threat to the community. Um, but we will be taking uh, precautions to limit the risk of any kind of sickness to both our staff and to the public. With that in mind, um, I'll go over some of the things we have planned. Uh, first of all, and most importantly, all court services are going to remain open. We do uh, play an important role in maintaining the community safety and justice, so it's just as, it's, it's very important that we continue with operations. <clears throat> To limit in-person contact between the public and our staff, we are going to rely on technology in particular over the next, um, the next 30 days. Uh, we'll be relying on phone calls, emails, faxes, um, regular mail, and the internet as well. Um, we're gonna have a, a minimal number of staff in the office at any time, but we will be there to answer all phone calls and uh, respond to any issues that come up. Um, all court buildings, uh, the, by the court I mean the court, the public defender, the prosecutor, and probation, all the court buildings doors will remain locked. Um, if you get to the door, there will be a phone number to call, and if you call, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you about um, uh, what, what brings you to court that day. Um, we'll also be asking uh, members of the public questions about their background, their health, and where they've been traveling. It's possible that we won't let you in the building if there's some concern about uh, exposure to the virus. Uh, that we'll have to take uh, do business over the phone. Also, our regular business hours will just remain as is. They will be from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, the, really, the limit would be um, there will be some staff that are working from home, uh, so it may take a couple of minutes to get a hold of uh, anyone that, um, that you're trying to reach. But we'll, we'll all make sure that we are all available. <clears throat> As to the uh, specific programs, again, I'm going to, uh, the court, prosecutor, public defender, and probation. Uh, first, I'll go over the, uh, any ch the changes in the court. Um, over the next, again, the, uh, for a short period of time, hopefully it'll be at 30 days at the most, we're going to um, limit the number of people coming into the courtroom and we're going to um, either require or strongly encourage uh, uh, people to appear in court by telephone. We do have the capability of having uh, four people call in at the same time from different lines and that's what we're gonna rely on. Uh, if there is a complicated case or if there are witnesses or documents, photographs or recordings that need to be presented to the court, then we may have to either continue the uh, hearing or we may, as I said, have a court hearing but really restrict the number of people that can enter the building or enter the courtroom. Um, if we do reset cases, they would be after April 30th. Uh, all in all, we'll just uh, look at each case individually and all, all you need to do is make sure you just communicate what your concerns are uh, to the court staff. The court staff will let the judges know uh, if there's some issue that comes up where you need uh, or it's an emergency and you need some uh, help right away, just let our court staff know, uh, again, by email or phone call. <clears throat> we also uh, have um, put on the Pueblo Laguna website a number of documents and information about the court programs. Uh, so that would be at uh, lagunapueblo-nsn.gov uh, under the department section and under uh, and within that section is judicial services. Uh, there's a number of forms that you can download and print out and just mail in or fax um, the information you need to provide to the court. <coughs> So that covers the court program. Um, the prosecutor's office, uh, again, they'll, their doors will be locked, but they will be available. Um, they, uh, um, they'll provide the same services. 
uh, that they usually provide. Uh, they will be rotating, so some staff will be actually in the building all day. Uh, some staff will be working from home. Um, they do provide, uh, basically prosecute on behalf of the Pueblo, uh, adults and juveniles for crimes and delinquents acts, and that will continue. Probation uh, services will also continue as is. Probation provides uh, rehabilitation services to juveniles and adults. Uh, we're going to follow the same uh, policy. Uh, there will be limited uh, in-person contacts. Uh, there will be limited home visits, um, limited um, drug testing, alcohol testing, again, just to make sure the staff is safe. But we will continue uh, those services as planned. Um, they'll also have uh, some, uh, some program employees there all day. Some will be working from home or remotely. And then the last, uh, last program is the public defender services, and they provide uh, legal assistance to people that have either been charged with crimes or uh, young people have been charged with delinquent acts. And they, um, as with all other programs, will be available all day uh, to assist any members of the public. Um, but again, uh, the public defender will likely be working at least some of the time outside of the office, so it may take a little bit of time to get a hold of her. Um, but we do have uh, a receptionist, administrative assistance, answering the phone all day, so uh, just communicate with us and we'll do the, uh, try to help you the best we can. As to contact information, uh, the main number to reach, and this is for all programs, if you have trouble reaching anyone, is 505-552-1900. Uh, That's the main court number, and we can transfer to other programs from there or um, try to find out why you can't reach one of the other program employees. Uh, the probation and public defender share an administrative assistant so they both have the same number. Um, that number is 505-552-1941. And uh, last is the prosecutor office uh, to reach them. Uh, their direct line is 505-552-1912. Um, and I'll just repeat it again. Yeah, overall, if you need anything at all, call the main line, 505. 552-1900. Um, so with that, that's basically how we're going to operate. Um, just communicate with us. We want to try to be as helpful as we can. We're not going to close our offices, so uh, just uh, be patient with us, and uh, we'll try to keep everyone safe and continue with carrying out justice. Um, so make sure you follow the governor's instructions, and don't panic. Um, keep washing your hands and uh, everyone be safe. Thank you.